All right, in this video, we're gonna solve one of the most common problems in OBS, which is audio sync. We've got a great tool over here that will get you to the bottom of it, making sure that all your audio sources are in sync. Let's take a look at it. What's up guys, really quickly, wanted to remind everybody you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. This book is available on Amazon if you'd like a paperback. And wanted to remind everybody to like this video if you want to see more content like this. And if you haven't subscribed already, only about 10% of our viewers are subscribed. It means a lot to us. You'll be able to keep up with all the new videos we're making. You won't become a video production expert overnight, so we could do this all together. And if you have any questions along the way, let us know in the comments below. All right, so this is a pretty colorful interactive video. It's a 10 second video that you can use to figure out the audio sync potentially issues that are inside of OBS. I hear about audio sync issues all the time and I wanna show you guys how this works. So essentially you record this video from the camera and microphone you are using inside of OBS, okay? And I'm gonna walk you through this because using this sync tool, you can basically get an accurate reading of how out of sync your audio is with your video. Now, in order to really do this, you do need to record the video literally on a phone, on a laptop, on a tablet, on a display with the camera and microphone that you have connected to OBS. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's quite straightforward. Once you've done that, you take the video file and you can put it into any video editor and figure out exactly what the difference is figure out exactly looking at the audio because this video clicks every second it goes click 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 and you record those audio clicks and you can actually adjust to really make your video perfect inside of obs once you've determined how far the click is and you can use the video as a reference because you can look at the audio look for where those clicks are coming in you do need to make sure your microphone in OBS is close enough to hear the clicks coming out of your laptop again or your phone or wherever you're playing this video file. It's an MP4 file that you can download below. You can get that audio sync and that will be your guide to see how far you need to match it up. And the video has a number on it. So that number is your guide to how much audio delay you need to add into OBS. So once you've recorded that video inside of OBS, you go into your audio mixer and you go into the advanced audio properties and you'll see that there is a sync offset. Now, I wanna give you a shortcut because I obviously wanna save you as much time as possible. One of the things I used to do before I created this tool to really get down to the millisecond is I used to just hold my hand up and go five, four, three, two, one, zero, and I would record that video. Then I would add 25 seconds of millisec of latency or sync offset as OBS has it, and I would record it again. And then I would add 50 milliseconds of latency. I'd do it again, and then I would add 75 milliseconds of latency. And what I've found is that most capture cards, most systems, they process video a little slower than audio, just because video has a lot more bandwidth, a lot more data. So adding about 75 to 100 milliseconds in most cases will sync up the audio perfectly. As soon as you start to have the audio come before the video, it's like crazy. You're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And, it's no, and it, you can just tell immediately that you've gone overboard. So if you just want to skip this whole thing and just add like 25, 50, 75 and record those videos, you'll probably get it to a really good place already by doing so. If not, if you want to take it the extra mile and you want to get this video file, go ahead and download it below. Again, you take your camera and your microphone in OBS, record this file, take that recorded file, look at it in an editor and see exactly what the audio sync you need to add into OBS. So that's how it works. It's pretty cool stuff. And I will mention that if you're using IP video, if you're using IP video streams, you do need to synchronize your IP video streams or they might drift and be different from one or the other. 
So that is another part of this that we're going to talk about later in the book. There's a whole chapter about IP video. And if you have multiple video sources, one's a webcam, one's a RTSP feed, one's a capture card, they might have a little bit of different latency. And that's when you have to get into video latency. But for now, let's assume that you have all your video sources are the same latency, right? They're all coming in the same way. That's the best practice. And you just need to sync your audio to it. So that's, this is the tool for that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now that's definitely a super user tool for you guys out there who are using OBS and really want to tweak your audio perfectly. Check out the tool. You should, I can't imagine anybody who isn't using any audio sync. Everyone has to sync their audio at least a little bit. Solution is almost always adding a little bit of latency because audio is processed faster than video. Everybody should probably have some latency in their production and this is the way to, this is an easy way to fix it or you can just manually add 25, 50, 75, 100 milliseconds of audio. On the video side, if your video sources are out of sync, we're gonna cover that in an upcoming video. So that will be covered in the online course, so check it out in the links below. And this file, of course, will be available for download.